Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to living with a three-ton US pickup truck in the UK. Now, this video is going to be, I know it's going to be entertaining because the UK and uh, the roads here and the houses here, the parking spaces are not built for massive pickup trucks. They're just not built for them. Like everything here regarding cars and roads is just a lot smaller, a lot smaller. Like I recently watched a video about two American guys, uh, college uh, students who came to the UK and they were shocked at how narrow some of our two lane roads were. Like they said roads that would be too narrow to be a one lane road. Here it's normal to have two lanes in them. So you'll have traffic going that way and traffic coming this way. I can't imagine driving a massive pickup in a country lane like some of the country lanes here were literally built in the roman days with horses and carriages you know i just can't imagine what it's going to be like but this video is going to be i just it's going to be just for my curiosity it's going to be super entertaining let's do it people are staring at me like i'm mad driving around here that's it this is a 1,000 horsepower Hennessy Mammoth, and I'm going to use it to wow, see what it's 1,000 horsepower. It's like to live with a huge, high-performance American pickup truck in the UK. What could possibly? And the colour of it—he's picked the most bright yellow. <laughs> this thing is going to stick out so much. Really go wrong. Buy, sell, oh, car. Wow. Here we go. A sleepy, quiet English village probably isn't the ideal place to be driving this big gas guzzling 1,000 horsepower American pickup truck. It's but let's so see how we big. get on. Look okay, so here's the is. first obstacle. I want to go right up here. Um, My God. Chaos. This is what I mean. Like, look how tight this bend is. It's now definitely going to be chaos. Oh, you see, you should have waited. Patience is not good. Okay, so. This is it easy. Is, this like, thing is... Which, which strictors? Uh, it's huge. Oh, okay, mate! Uh, Almost uh, clipped the wing mirror. Now we're going down a very narrow bit here. Thankfully, I have priority. Ah, Van Man, you must wait. Ooh. I've never Man. seen a white van reverse up to let you pass before. They don't <laughs> normally do it. Okay, I need to go right here, which is not going to be easy. Mate, where are you Might going? Just come on. Climb in the curb. You passed. Come on. Right, here comes a three point turn. It's going to have to be. Sorry, everybody. Thankfully, I've got a reversing camera. Oh my God. I reckon he's, he's by the end of this video, there will be a scratch on this car. Or some kind of deal. Oh dear. Right, here's someone in a Range Rover, probably used to like people giving way, but they're going to have to give way this time. Sorry. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Oh my <laughs> God, it's... <laughs> Thank God for the sensors. Oh, hello. I oh, mate, I could never, I could Might never. I have to just go up the cover a little bit. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. Oh, this is so hard. People are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here. The thing that would scare me the most is because it's been loaned to me for the day to test it out, I would hate to put like a ding on it you know, and sending it back. But I guess they must, Hennessy must have known because he's driving it in some, you know, English village with tiny little roads that there was a chance the car was going to get dinged. Yeah, I think they're right. Can I get around here without hitting one of the pub benches? Oh, he's risky. He's shaking his head at me like I'm mad. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. He's not happy about me having this. Just eat, oh, it's got to ease out. Sorry. Sorry about that. Please forgive me. Sorry, Everyone's having sorry. to stop. See, the Americans don't do this. It's very British to be going, sorry, 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 the whole time. Done. Nice. Ah, survived without any scrapes. Now yeah. I think I'm going to go to the retail park. It's very American. It's so Oh, big. no, I'm running low on fuel. I need to go and fill up with petrol. Sorry, not petrol. Filling this thing up in, in the UK must cost a, just an absolute fortune. I reckon a hundred and... To fill this up, I reckon about 150 quid. So about, what's that, 200 bucks? Oh, gas. Why do they call it gas? It's not gas, it's a liquid. Anyway, let's go fill up. Oh, excuse me, sorry. 
Excuse me. Oh, this is going to be bloody awkward, this is. I'm going to have to do about a million manoeuvres. Uh, mate, there's no space. Oh, he's going uh, in the one on the, on the left. Come on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Don't think the guy behind is going to get past me. No, he ain't. Right. Hopefully this isn't going to be too expensive. I reckon... 150 pounds. Find out. Let's see. Yeah, I reckon 150 pound. Come easily. on then. I've got a feeling this is going to hurt. Easily. Yeah, he's going to have to wait now for Matt to be done. I'm sorry. This guy behind, I've trapped in. He doesn't realise how long this could take. Sorry. The people wedged in between me and the van are very cross. However, the guy in the van could reverse up, but I think he's enjoying the drama too much. <laughs> oh my God, we're already well over a hundred pounds. In fact, it's 120 and it's still going. And the thing, the, the engine wasn't even empty. Like I reckon from an empty, like near empty tank, I reckon, or maybe even 200 pounds. How big is this tank? I'm paying 182.9 pence per litre. Oh. And the Americans moan about their gas prices. They should come live here. I thought it was going to be Oh, this is insane. Ooh, is this going to break the 200 pound barrier? I've never put more than 200 pounds in a car. Right, I think we're done. It has stopped at 101 litres and over 180 pounds. Now, I've got to pay. I'm not going to enjoy this bit. 180 quid. 250 bucks, I reckon. <laughs> See you in a bit. I need to call my bank first. <laughs> Some Remortgage. Turns out that actually, this had a cut off. So they are fuming. it's not full yet. It's not cut even off full. Cut off at just over hundred liters. I've got to go again. If you get him to reverse up, you can get out. Okay. Oh, they're getting they are fuming. Really mad now behind, I can't blame them. I'm gonna be the most hated person at this Tesco forecourt. Still going, yeah, look, here we go. Oh that's it, it's full, God. I've got the clicks, finally. So that's 210 pounds Just quick as I can before the people behind me kill me. Okay, right, better go pay for the other bit in here. But why doesn't he pay at the pump? It's faster. They're getting annoyed behind. Okay, so here we go. 184 pounds and another 27 pounds. So that's over 200 quid. Oh, wow. I better get going because they're going to kill me. I'm going now, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh, they hate me. They hate me and I can't blame them. Oh my God, here we go. Let's get out of here. That was very expensive. The most I've ever put in oh, a vehicle. Calm that down. is the American dream. I think they've had an American. Those people just chill out a little bit. You probably waited for what? Five minutes, maybe? Like a nightmare. All right, I've got my fuel, but my truck's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna give it a clean. There's no way I'll fit in one of those automated car washers. This is just too big, so I'm gonna have to jet wash it. Thankfully, there's enough room in this bay. Just. Annoyingly, I'm low on cash now after paying for all that fuel, so I can only do the minimum bend on this. So I'm gonna have to be super quick trying to get this done. Yeah, England So minimum bend is two pounds, that's all I'm gonna do. Doesn't seem like this accepts Amex. Thankfully, when you've got one of these, you need to make sure you've got a few bank accounts to pay for everything. So let's try this one. <laughs> that worked. Here we go. Got to be quick. Oh, I never, never shut that properly. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's so big. It's just so big. Not the best job. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. I'm going to work out doing this. I've just got two minutes left. Come on. Try and get it clean. How do I get the roof? I suppose I could climb in the low bed, but I don't have time. I've totally got this. There, come on, Matt. Spray it down. Spray it down. <sighs> oh, no. You're going to run out of time. The roof's just going to have to be partially done.
Ten seconds. Oh, man. Man. Oh, God. No! No, no, you're going to run out. You're going to run out. No way you're going to get that off. That's it. Put some more money in. You can't drive around with that thing looking like that. Now, Cash, I'll finish it off at home. No. Okay, um, so that's done. It's not ideal. No, um, you're not going to drive it I like that. I'll finish it off with this. There we go. Look, absolutely fine. Do you know what? All that running around has made me peckish. I think I need some food. Oh, yeah. Cheeky Come trips to and Mackey's. Ah! Perfect. Yeah. The golden arches. Let's have a drive through McDonald's. A very American meal in a very American vehicle. Do you guys still like go to McDonald's in, in the States? I've heard that McDonald's isn't really popular anymore in America. Like here, it's still really popular. What's your go-to McDonald's? Like mine for like the last 10 years has been a large Big Mac meal with a filet of fish on the side with extra tartar sauce with two... Uh, Sweet curry sauce dips. Ah, oh, the perfect combo. Now, oh, wait a minute. This is a bit tight. Well, not if you're in a normal car. This is going to be a struggle to get through here, so I'm going to have to mm. deploy my optional helper. <laughs> really handy to get you through tight spots. He's been it's in only the available boat the whole time. upgrade in the UK for obvious reasons. You don't need it in the States. <laughs> there he goes. He's been deployed. Hopefully, he's got the alloy wheel protection system built in. Here we go. Almost there. Oh gosh, this is American, so it's left-hand drive. The drive throughs are set up for right-hand drive. Um. Where's the bloody window? <laughs> Hello? Hi, is everything all right? Everything. The way he's had to pop his head out. <laughs> it's fine, as long as I can get a breakfast bacon roll, please. Like ketchup or brown sauce with that? Um, brown sauce, brown I'd sauce. I'd like brown sauce. Yeah, brown Good sauce. choice. Yeah. Else? No, that's it, thanks. Bab, when you're over, you just want to continue round for me. Okay, see you shortly. Take care. Uh, I need to take care because this is so big. It's just so big, man. <clears throat> okay. Went for brown sauce because it's very, very British. You don't get that in America. Thankfully, this drive through is reasonably wide. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you go up the curb in this because it's got 37 inch tyres. This is the bit I'm slightly worried about. Come on, get round. Yeah. I've literally no idea. He's got the yeah, you, you've got space. He's got space. Oh, I've just driven past the blooming window. <sighs> Mate, lucky nobody's behind him. Here we go again. He's so far from the window. Hello. How's he going to get the food? I've come to get my breakfast roll with brown yeah. sauce. So you're That's it? Yeah, Can I pay? <laughs> this, this is... I've got to applaud them for going through all of the effort in making this video. Next window! Another window! Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Right, here we go again. Oh. oh god. Right. Don't want that beeping at me. Safety first, everybody. Oh. Uh -huh. Here we go. Oh, I've done it again! I'm too busy watching my spotter that I'm missing the windows. Oh, there's someone behind me. Oh no. Good thing they've Hello. given me a lot of clearance. Oh, sorry about this. Just bear with me. That's it. Oh. I can't reach Oh my god. I love how this guy could have easily just walked up and helped him with the food. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh. Are you taking the mic? What a disaster. Tell you what, this is going to be guilt free breakfast because I reckon I've burnt off all the calories that's in this. Yeah, just to be fair. Blooming getting it. Let's pop 
park up and find somewhere to enjoy my food. Oh, here we go. And now all I need to do is get my spotter back on board. Come on. Get back in the boot. Before I go eat, I need to just pick up an essential item which I forgot to buy, so just find myself a parking space. Oh. Here we go. This will do it. I guess. Oh my that god, you can't leave it like a that. A few moments later. <laughs> if you leave it like this too long, can't that mess up the suspension? <laughs> <laughs> that thing there. over the first speed bump, that oh thing's going to go flying. I read a notice that says you get a fine if you don't park properly in the bays, but I'm not too worried because where they're going to send the fine to? Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head back. I've had enough of this. It's too stressful. Oh, sounds nice. Oh, this is sketchy nice. around here. Blind corners. Wide vehicle, I hope no one's going quick the other way. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. That was hairy. <laughs> Passing lorries on country roads when you're on the wrong side of the car is not fun. Oops. Oh, get in the lane. Ah. Come on, Matt. Lane to the discipline. Way to this truck. I can only do 60 miles an hour on a piece of dual carriageway in the UK. On the motor, I can do 70, but dual carriageway, 60. Whereas a car would be able to do 70. One of the other drawbacks. I hope my plan's all right in the back. Oh my God. I can't really see it. <laughs> sure it's fine. Oh dear, that's a little bit of a mess. That's and so too is trying to drive around a big American pickup truck in Britain. You know, our roads are just too narrow for yeah. them. I love them out not in the US when you've got it. these wide, wide roads, but here, not so much. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Fun video. I mean, he probably made it a bit more difficult than it needed to be at times, but I definitely agree with him that the roads here, it's, they're just not built for, for cars that size. Because I'm sure people are going to say, oh, you know, what about buses and stuff like that? However, buses in the UK have their own separate lanes usually. Like there's usually a bus lane that's just for buses so that they've got ample clearance, there's no other car in the lane, stuff like that. And plus a bus isn't gonna go into a village like that. You know, they're not really gonna have to go down those thin roads. So yeah, I just think uh, vehicles of that size, they should be used in countries where the roads are bigger, the car park spaces are larger, you know, and people are more used to them. Just because like here, it just, it, you could see it, it was just, it was sticking out like a sore thumb. People were getting so annoyed at the petrol station. They were getting really angry, man. They didn't care that it was for a video or anything like that. They were swearing, they were, you know, pawning the cars. Fun video though, I've got to say, well done to Carwow. This was a really entertaining video. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.